Heading to the beach this weekend, you might see a new sport that's taking the country by storm. It's called Spike Ball, the world's <laughs> largest tournament held on Coney Island. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer joins us now with the story. This looks like one of those sports that you just want to say, get out of my, let me try this, and then you're playing it for like <laughs> two or three hours. I mean, this was once simply another unknown lawn game of the 80s, but Spike Ball now has 300 tournaments nationwide. It has gone from just being a toy to becoming a legitimate sport. It's not often you come across a sport with no boundaries. So if volleyball in Foursquare had a baby, that's what it is. Just like volleyball, you've got three touches per side. That's where the similarities end. It's a 360 game, plays like volleyball, but instead of the ball going over the net, changing possession, when the ball hits the net, it changes possession. One, two, three. So he spiked it. And. Oh! <laughs> Always set the ball to the net. Your partner will get there. The competition is serious, but the team names aren't. From I Am Groot to the Spiking Flovers. It's a fast, action-paced sport, like opposed to like baseball. Well, you're in every play, and uh, you really get uh, some camaraderie between your teammates. You get the sense that the heart of spike ball is its sociability. We're seeing people that are meeting at tournaments are starting to date now. Like there's relationships happening, and everybody here today more or less showed up as complete strangers. By the end of the day, and as you're already seeing, they're becoming good friends. Fitting considering friendship created the spike ball revival. Ruder and his friends didn't invent the sport, they just love playing it. So after the original company abandoned the product, these guys picked up the trademark. We got three in the house! This is the most gratifying part of the job. And we launched the company, we thought we were just going to, you know, sell you this $50 product. You were going to take it, and that would be about it. But tournaments started popping up everywhere. And the fact that we just actually did it, pulled that trigger and went for it, had we not done that, none of this would be here today. I'd probably be sitting in a cubicle somewhere, just not having all that much fun. So in just three short years, spike ball has evolved from a recreational game in college campuses to a national movement and a profitable business. Their valuation has tripled this year. Spike ball is on track to make six million dollars in revenue. Wow. And I think what's so cool about this is, like they were saying, I mean, this was just an idea. They thought, well, let's just give it a shot and, and look what it turned into. Not every idea is a million dollar idea. No. <laughs> right, I've had a few times, not million dollar ideas. And he said um, Foursquare in the beginning, right, also right. known as Boxball. When I was go. in junior okay. high, that's well, what it was called. It, he's from Chicago, <laughs> so that's what they call it in the Midwest, I think. Looks Why cool. do I feel like the busiest time of year for them is spring break? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> no kidding, right? When the beaches are open, too. Yeah, thank Very you. Very cool. Thanks, Steve.